Hello and welcome to Tech It. Fat Andy here, ready to kick off a new Tech It Let's Play series. I'm going to be starting out from the beginning for all you newcomers out there. And hopefully we'll be covering some of the basics of some simple industrial craft machines like mass radiators and generators. Getting a little bit more technical later on with, you know, condensers and induction furnaces and all that cool stuff. Hopefully we'll build some red power pipes and engines and make some crazy sorting list systems. Learn how to create some industrial diamond factories and build our way up to some everybody's favorite nuclear reactors. As you can uh, see, I'm starting out here and spawn on a Tegit server. It looks like uh, somebody got tired of being blown up by creepers, so uh, we've got reinforced concrete down here and some reinforced glass and uh, you know furnace and a little crafting bench for you. Uh, not too many people have built here at spawn. There's a little uh, tree house up in the big rubber tree up there and a tiny little looks like a noob house or something and uh, possibly lots of creeper explosions all over the place but uh, first I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and get some materials so uh, and some supplies so I can get started punch some trees and that kind of thing and uh, go look for a nice little place to settle down and call home and a place I can build my mad scientist house so uh, give me just a minute and we'll uh, rejoin there and we're back. So I uh, travel along uh, around for about a day or two. I was looking for a nice spot to settle down. I think I found one. Uh, you got uh, a little oil over there. And this uh, You can see from my map here, it kind of looks like a big giant island, but it's surrounded by some rivers. I don't know, I kind of like it. It's pretty neat. Uh, over this way, it looks like there's some more oil. I think I even saw... A little up oh, there it is. A little oil spill way out there, so we got all kinds of oil around us. And uh one of the coolest things, desert over there. I found a village. And this is uh, a little strange village. It's only two buildings. They got a church and a little farmhouse. I guess uh the well if you count the well, but I think the wells are in all of them. Let's go over here and check this out real fast. I always like villages. I know it's only the 1.25 patch, so I can't trade with them, but hopefully they'll get the uh, the 1.3 patch out, and we'll, here's the farmer, we'll be able to trade with these villagers, or I don't know, do something fancy with them. Where's this guy? There he is, my priest. I've already uh, locked them in their houses, put a few lights around town. But uh, I think I, for the most part, I'm going to build over on that guy over there. I don't know, maybe we'll make a bridge or something, and connect this all up and build all kinds of neat little houses or something. Uh, so to start off, I think we're going to go and uh, get in here and do a quick little bit of mining. Uh, you can see my uh, inventory here. Yeah, pretty much uh, a little bit of noob stuff, cactus, a little bit of sand, some wood. We got a leather chest plate, you know, standard accoutrement of stone tools and whatnot. Nothing too fancy. Uh, let's go down here and see if we can't find some of the new ores. I don't want to bore you guys too much with the mining. There's zombies jumping up and down. Uh, I figure, you know, you probably have seen plenty of videos of people mining and it gets a little boring after a while, but real quick we're just gonna go and look at some of these new ores. Now what I just picked up was copper. Uh, you can use that makes copper cables. It's kind of the basis for uh, uh, electronic circuits and all that other stuff. Jumping up and down like crazy. <laughs> They're all stuck. Sucks to be you, zombies. Yeah, yeah, copper's pretty plentiful. It's just about everywhere. There's some uranium. Use that for nuclear reactors later on or uh, it's got a high EC value, or EMC value, you can see it there, it's EMC 192, that's for uh, equivalent exchange, when you can use your, uh, it's a energy condenser, some kind of condenser thing, uh, we'll get to that later, it's not too important right now, they're pretty expensive, and uh, there's a creeper over there, I hope he doesn't see me, I think he saw me, let's kill him. Didn't do too much damage. But uh, there's some iron. You're going to need lots and lots and lots of iron, so if you see iron, go ahead and grab it. A little bit 
more copper here. Hopefully, uh, once we uh, get around to getting like miners and stuff and quarries, we'll not have to do a whole lot of caving anyways. Caving can get a little bit dangerous. I, know, I think I've already died once trying to just get some coal. A creeper came around the corner and blew me up. What are you going to do? But yeah, you're going to need just all kinds of iron, so just grab as absolutely much of it as you can at the beginning. Uh, hopefully once we get our ma macerators set up, we can uh, start getting double the ore. It just kind of grinds all the ore down and gives you a little, it's, called, uh, it's like iron dust, coal dust, copper dust, all kinds of dusts. And uh, that way you can, uh, and you smelt that in your furnace. It just gives you the regular old ingots. Hope we can find some tin real shortly. Oh, speak of the devil, there's some tin. That tin you can make like uh, empty cells and fill them up with lava and water and all kinds of other fun stuff. Uh, basis, uh, you can use it for making bronze and uh, it's got some other uses too. I'm sure we can build some machines and stuff out of it. Some more uranium. I'm gonna need a iron pick to be able to pick that stuff up. Yep, there's some uh, sapphire and some emeralds. Uh, unfortunately, I also need an iron pick to pick that stuff up too. Oh, spider. Huzzah! Going here. Stuck in the wall. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I don't think there's really a whole lot of other ores that we can really use yet. I know there's like tungsten and silver. Um, those are kind of later use items. Tungsten is really, really rare too. There's a bit of coal. You're going to need a lot of coal too. I would suggest not using your coal for anything other than saving it up so that you can make uh, industrial, industrial diamonds out of it later. I think it's uh, a stack of coal will equal or yield you like one industrial diamond. Once we get our plant set up, hopefully we can make one in about 10 minutes or so once we you know, feed a quarry in there and uh, get all kinds of crazy amounts of... Uh, materials and stuff. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this here, do a little more caving, grab some more materials, and uh, hopefully set up a little, little base shack over there by the village so we can uh, start getting to work on making some machines. So, I will see you guys in just a minute. Alright, I needed to make a pit stop at uh, Trying to find a swamp. I've been boating around all day looking for one. And the reason being is so I can find one of these guys. And this is a rubber tree. And they grow really well in swamps. You can actually see there's a little flock of them over there. Uh, found these two guys here. And what we're looking for is this thing right up in there. If you can see it, it's a little orange dot. I'll break these leaves real quick. Oh, look at that. Already got a rubber tree sapling. Now, what rubber is good for is making insulated wire. And we are going to need so much insulated wire that just to make pretty much any kind of machine, basis for your electronic circuits and whatnot. Now, what do we do to get the rubber out of here is we're going to make something called a tree tap. Let me go ahead and make this real quick. You're going to take wood, set them up just like that. You get this little guy called a tree tap, and it functions just like a tool. You just point at this little thing and right click. Yeah, sticky situation. Now we got sticky resin. What we're going to do is you put that, you can put it in a furnace for now, and it'll create rubber. Uh, later on, we're going to make an extractor, and each one of these uh, sticky resins will make three rubber. You can also, in an extractor, you can uh, actually put the rubber wood itself in there, and it'll create one rubber a piece. Well, that's pretty nifty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to shave this tree down just a little bit. 
hopefully I'm going to get uh, a few uh, saplings out of it. And uh, we'll meet you back at the, the shack that you actually haven't seen yet. So, lucky you. Uh, anywho, uh, see you in just a second. Okay, we're back at my little temporary shack. It's pretty ugly right now, but it's only temporary. Oh, creeper. These things. Gut powder. Hopefully we'll be doing some stuff with some TNT later. Oh, I love TNT. Yeah, it's it's pretty ugly. Um, uh, I'll be making something better later on. But right now, I just need somewhere to uh, stay inside from creepers and zombies and spiders and skellies and all those other things. Uh, we got some chests here. Let's see what we got. We got... Uh, tools in this one. Not much there yet. Uh, your organics and some mob drops. We've got uh, building blocks, glass, wood. And uh, my favorite, oh, I found some diamonds. A uh, couple of rubies, emeralds, uranium, a little bit of lapis, a bunch of coal, some iron. I already started smelting some iron and some copper. I probably should go ahead and smell a little bit of this tin here. I know, I know, I'm, I'm using my coal. Uh, let's go ahead and put it in there. And what we're going to want to do, this thing is so neat, it's uh, not enough items. You can actually click on these things, it's dispenser, and it'll tell you what to, how to make it. So, you know, dispenser is seven cobblestone, a bow, and a redstone ore. But what we want to make is an iron furnace to start off. And an iron furnace is basically a slightly quicker uh, regular furnace, and it also burns, uh, it'll, it'll smelt tin per one coal. So that's pretty neat. So you can either make eight iron ingots to make an iron furnace, or you can do five and a regular furnace. And I think I'm going to go for this one because it's a little bit cheaper. So let's go ahead and grab out five of our iron. Two, three, four, five. And I'll go ahead and make another furnace while that one works in there. There's our furnace. And there's our iron furnace. So we're just going to plop that down. And it runs on coal or charcoal just as well. You see the setup's pretty much the same. Take a coal out of there. Put one in. Let's, uh, let's smelt some more tin. We'll do the, we'll do tin tin. <laughs> While that's cooking, let's look up. Uh, our first machine is going to be a generator. Oops, just got to be able to smell. There, there is the generator. So you're gonna need three refined iron and an iron furnace and an RE battery, or uh, you can also build it with a furnace, a machine block, and an RE battery. We've already got this iron furnace, so we're going to be using, we're just going to pick this one that we made right back up and uh, use it, because we're going to be making an electric furnace pretty quickly. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the RE battery, because we don't have one of those yet. Oh. Um, an RE battery is made up, oh, it's not going to show me. I think we got to find the empty one. There it is. Oh, there we go. So an RE battery is made out of a copper cable two redstone ores and four tin. And to make this copper cable, we're going to need uh, three copper and six rubber. So we're going to have to go ahead and smelt some some rubber. Luckily, I think we have some. There's five. Uh, we don't have enough. Oh, I've got one rubber wood, so we'll smelt that and get, uh, get our six real quick. I probably should go ahead and just plant that. Uh, I got some of these rubber trees and some bone meal. We'll just go ahead and plant these so we we can actually have some rubber to be able to use. I'll walk over here, and find a nice little spot for this little tree. This looks like a good place as any. One, two, three. Alright, that one looks kind of weird. Little leaves like that. 
So, uh, oh, I don't have my tree tap. Let me go run in and get to that real quick. Now, uh, you really don't want to cut down your rubber trees for the most part, because they don't give as many, uh, they don't give as many saplings as your regular trees. Kind of like jungle trees in that respect, but not that bad. You're probably not going to deforest yourself when it comes to uh, rubber trees, but, you know, they, they're pretty useful, especially if you can find uh, ones with more than one of the little rubber spots to them. So there's one rubber spot. Uh, if you can find a tree that's got like three rubber spots, that's pretty awesome. A lot of them, they just have two. Sometimes they're just one. Sometimes you don't even find any. But what I like to do is I just like to shave the tree down and be able to see... Basically, or to, uh, to get some more saplings and also to see if there's more of the little orange spots on there. I can't remember what the orange spots are called. I'll have to look that up. So it's not looking like this guy's going to be very promising. He's probably get just one. I might cut him down. Try to grow a new one. But oh, we did get a sapling, so I can cut him down and get something new out of it. That's only one. That's not very useful. Down you go, tree. Sorry. We'll plant a new one in your place. Let's see. Uh, that guy doesn't have any on the bottom. Oh, there's one on this guy. We got 11. Oh, there's one more. That should probably be pretty good for now. Now the orange spots, they grow back, so you can always come back later and, and find some more. It's it's about the same growth rate as like a, a tree spawning or something. Or a tree growing, they don't spawn, I don't know what I'm thinking. Alright, oh. Hmm. I guess it doesn't work in a regular furnace. Oh, what do you know? Does it work in these kind of furnaces? I wonder. It turned into a jungle log. That's pretty strange. Same thing. I think you have to put these in extractors. Uh, who knows? Well, at any rate, one of the things about uh, jungle or rubber wood is they only turn into three planks. So, if you want the four, I guess you gotta smell them in your regular furnace. And I got some some jungle wood. Let's go ahead and. Smelt this sticky resin real fast. Should probably make some uh, some normal uh, charcoal and quit using my coal. Do do do. Alright, let's get some of this sticky resin going. We're gonna need, let's see, we got our copper with us, so I think we're gonna need three for that. Or for uh, our first RE battery so we can make some copper cable. Now you can also just make uninsulated copper cable like this and you can put the uh, the rubber just right next to it. You don't actually have to build the the, the six like this. It, it's, I actually find it easier if you just build the the three across and stick all of your uh, all of your rubber right next to it. It's a little, it, I don't know, it saves you like a second. <laughs> if you're one of those people that no worries about stuff like that. We're just gonna get a few more. Let's let's go ahead and make a few more cables because I think we're gonna need them later on for the generator and possibly the macerator. There's some more cable. That's almost done. We got some sticky resin.
All right, so we got eight copper cables. So what was our, our crafting recipe? So we got the copper cable on top, two redstone ore, and some tin. Oh, I hope I have some redstone ore. I don't have redstone ore. So you know what? I will be right back while I go hunt some down. Give me just a minute. Okay, we I found some redstone, about 18 of them. So I got uh, 10 here, our copper cable and our redstone. So let's go ahead and make that RE battery. You know, later on you can use RE batteries to make a lot of other things. Uh, you can make like your mining drills with them, uh, chainsaws, that kind of thing. Uh, they're useful in bat boxes. Uh, you, they just you use all kinds of RE batteries. Uh, you'll notice this one's got the little red there, and this one doesn't have red. That's when you have to charge them up. They actually they hold EU. Uh, I I think you can only make them uncharged. I'm not too sure about that, but for the most part, I only make them uncharged anyway, so that doesn't really matter too much. So let's go back to making our generator. So. What else do we need? We need three refined iron and the iron furnace. Now we have the iron furnace here. We're going to need some refined iron. And the way you get refined iron is actually to re-smelt your iron. So all we're going to do is we're going to put in, let's see, put in ten of these. And it's going to smelt and it's going to make the refined iron. We use refined iron for quite a bit of stuff too. I think we need we need three of them. Yeah, just three. Uh, we'll have to let this this thing cook all of them down real quick. <laughs> what else can we do? Oh, let's let's go ahead and look up the macerator while we're waiting for that to smell. Oh, keep grabbing my battery. You got the rotary macerator, that's a really fancy one uh, later on down the road. I think it requires like an advanced machine block and you need all kinds of carbon plates and advanced alloys and all kinds of stuff for that. Let's just get the regular macerator and it's going to take a machine block, an electronic circuit, three flint and a couple of cobble. The machine block's pretty easy, it's just eight refined iron uh, in this little like chest shape and you get the, the machine block there. Electronic circuit is six copper cable, three on top, three on bottom, two redstone, and another refined iron. So I think that's going to be, let's see, eight and uh, one. That'll be nine for the macerator. And then for the generator, I think that would took three, right? So we're going to need 12 refined iron altogether. I think I've got 10 here. Let's make two more just to get them out real quick. While we're looking at that, Let's go ahead and look up electric furnace. Let's see how what we need for an electric furnace. We're going to need another iron furnace and one more refined iron for uh, this another electronic circuit. So let's just put one more in. That way we don't have to worry about having this iron furnace anymore. All right, we got those. So we can go ahead and break this guy. We don't need it anymore. All right, so let's make our generator. Whoops. So three refined iron, RE battery, and the iron furnace. Is it gonna let me make it? Okay, okay, we got our generator. Plot that down. Let's make our macerator. I think we need some flint real quick. Where did I put the flint? There it is. Three of those. We got some cobble in our inventory already. And I think we need to make that electronic circuit and a machine block. These electronic circuits, they're used in all kinds of things. So you could probably make a ton of these and never have to worry about running out of them. And our machine block. So we got a machine block. Let's put the flint across the top. And there's our macerator. We're just going to pop it down right next to it. 
A macerator, uh, you're gonna, you can put batteries down here, uh, backpacks or something. You put your ore in the top and it will create the dust right here. Uh, these guys on the side, those are for like overclockers and stuff. That's, that's a little later down the line. We'll get to that later. And then for the generator, you just put uh, your charcoal or whatever. And you, with the generator, you only really want to do one at a time until you get a bat box to store the energy because this is going to fill this thing all the way up. And if you put more in, it'll just keep using the coal or the charcoal and you won't get anything out of it. So there's no reason to, to fill up more than one at a time. So while we're doing that, let's go ahead and put something in the macerator. We've got three little tins here. And the great thing is about these is you can use you can just put in one and it'll it'll just use one. It's not like a furnace that uh, that uses you know if you put one charcoal in a furnace it'll use you know eight or ten if it's an iron furnace. With the with the EU it actually just uses you know whatever EU it it requires for that one process on the on the on the one ore so. That's pretty useful. So it's, it gives us this tin dust, and with the tin dust, we're just going to put that in a, in a furnace and smelt it, and we'll get the ingots out of it. So we need one more thing real quick, and that is the electric furnace. So we need the iron furnace, another electronic circuit, and two redstone. No, we don't need this guy anymore. Let's we'll pick him up. Make our iron furnace real fast. There we go. We got our refined iron already. Bunch of copper cable left. There's our electronic circuit. And we need two redstone dust around the sides. So here we go. Bam! Electric furnace. And the electric furnace is great because it doesn't require coal. It runs off of EU just as well. So we can put our tin dust in there and it'll start smelting. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of it over here. And that, ladies and gents, is your basic machine setup. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here and uh, we'll return later and uh, keep doing some more things. Uh, hope to see you next time. Until then.